All right, YouTube, we're back. Our four-year Costco gazebo update. So um, many of you have been asking me about the stain, um, you know, what I use. So I'm gonna put that in this video. I'm gonna talk about a couple things. Um, new rain gutters, our electrical, and uh, the fan system, which is just an outdoor fan. And then a couple other things on the base. So um, here we go. So this is uh, right about four years. And this is a 12 by 14 um, Costco gazebo. Um, as you can see, we have added the lights they sell at Costco. Um, these are, I think, it's like a 48 foot section or something. Um, we added rain gutters here. So all seamless with a downspout um, here on the side exiting, of course, the home. Um, in the last video I did, you notice we added these um, nice outdoor patio furniture, which was more than the gazebo. And then many of you have asked about these up here. Hopefully you can see it. Um, these are 12 foot Bali blinds. Um, of course, custom order. This is not your normal uh, blind system that you can buy. Um, unfortunately, these two were, gosh, I think I got them on sale for about uh, $1,200, but they are amazing. So I waited intentionally to do this video in the afternoon since uh, we're facing west and the sun's coming in and these things just really really help on um, you know being able to enjoy the outdoors um, so since we're here i'm going to go um, here is kind of our electrical i'll do it real quick but this is for the fan and then lights lights um, right now they're not actually on and what we did is me and my buddy who's real handy ended up starting here uh, when you do this, definitely use, you need a real deep drill bit, like a 12 inch drill bit, and you have to go at the right angle. Um, so make sure you have someone that knows electrical or you know the structure here to know what they're doing. And then we ran it up along this ridge, um, use you know the screws with wire, um, tie the holders um, down to the ceiling fan. And then I do a lot of yard work out here. Um, and use since we have all solar now um, i use a lot of electrical devices instead of gas so we came down that beam and then ran an outdoor plug here um, you know we always recommend using the waterproof cover and other than that here we are going to show you hopefully this comes out Let's see if i can get a decent angle here so let me move out to the sun for um, what I use for the stain. Um, do recommend that you stain these um, pretty much right after you get it. They say three months from um, yardistry, but I think that's probably a little, little soon. Hopefully you can get a visual on that if you zoom in. And then this one's the woodscape, I think semi-transparent. Yeah, if you look down there. The semi-transparent um, yardistry recommends transparent so that you can keep the grain of the wood. Um, but you know, you can still see all the grain in here with the semi-transparent. Um, now the color, let me get back into the sun here. The color is a little darker. You know, I kind of wanted to match it with, um, you know, the existing, the home and then the, the rain gutter there. Um, we intentionally did a little different color rain gutter just because it matches the gazebo so well. Um, and so the last part of this video will be, um, I did stain this two years ago, and you'll notice there's a little bit of, of actual um, staining that needs to be done again there up on this top ridge. Now this ridge faces directly west, so it's gonna get a lot of sun. And this ridge faces, uh, faces north, which looks perfect, because it's essentially in San Diego, we never get sun. Um, you know to the north I mean facing um, the east side has a little bit quite a bit actually so wow that might be a tiny bit of termite in there just notice that might have to tent this thing um, so that has a little bit of uh, looks like discoloration that's pr this is probably a 10 minute touch-up job I will not do the whole structure because everything else looks perfect and then on the south side, I did a double coat on this when I did it, and it's holding up really well because that's where we get pretty much all the sun. So I, I double coated this on purpose. No one can ever tell. 
and there that's the only spot I can see that really has um, anything that needs to be touched up so maybe a spot here people asked how many anchors do you use let's get into a clearer picture um, in San Diego I decided to, to just go with one anchor on each foot and um, what I did personally is I took uh, outdoor caulking so I got the 3m stuff the you know it's like 10 10 bucks a bottle a tube and these were done two two years ago and they still look perfect there's no cracks when it rains you know no water gets in there fortunately this is the lower side sloping so I put a, a um, you know I even painted it the same color I know it's anal this little block down here so no water gets in here um, the water wouldn't get in here anyway because this has a little probably 16th inch lip um, so it keeps the foot off of the uh, the ground to keep water from you know going up the foot here so here we ran a cable into the wall and right into the foot up and eventually we'll make that all up to code but for now that's the four year update yardistry gazebo i still think it's a it's a now i give it a nine out of ten i just love this thing and uh, if you're thinking about getting one it is definitely a great value i don't care care if it costs twenty five hundred dollars with inflation or supply chain issues it's still worth it anyway enjoy thanks again for watching like and subscribe if you like these thanks so much